Shalom. First talk of all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Yashai Bashim Akarkadash, the Barnes the Apostles and the other the GMS. Salutes and honors to the elect, all the brothers across the four corners who are there in the truth and sincerity, the women and children, and the confusion of faith who follow. I was just doing some uh, some research and I came across this article. I thought it would be uh, a good uh, good article to go over, some good speaking points to make as dealing with the current situation that the majority of so-called Americans are dealing with here in Babylon. So uh, I got a couple more articles to support it. And, get, and uh, you know, with that being said, we're just going to dive right in. All right, and this is from ABC News. Uh, 4.com dated July 20th, 2021 says Charleston fast food workers plan strike protest Tuesday and fight for $15 an hour wage. All right, it says fast food, fast food workers in the Charleston area holding a strike and protest on Tuesday afternoon amid ongoing calls for a nationwide pay hike. Organizers with the fight, or it's like organizers fight for $15 an hour and union share details on the strike, which began at noon outside the McDonald's at 3710 Rivers Avenue in, in North Charleston. So these people are saying basically, hey, we're, we're not making enough money. We're not earning a wage that's going to allow us to take care of our households. Right, it says, for the past few years, demands have been growing amongst cooks, cashiers, and other employees for an increase to the federal minimum wage, which was last bumped up to $7.25 in 2019, or it's like in 2009. And uh, I remember that because at the time I was working at a grocery store, and I was making a little bit more than that, but I remember uh, the, the Sackers... They went up from, I believe, it was six fifteen to seven twenty five, which was a nice little bump, you know, for a seventeen year old kid. But when you're a grown man, you know, maybe you got a kid. Maybe it's, even if it's just you, let's not even take kids into the to this uh, scenario, because we're gonna we're gonna really dive into it. Say it's just you, you just one man. can't live off of that all right so and like I said this is the majority of people here in America there's a lot of quote good jobs out here but there's more not so good jobs out here it's almost you you have to have a, a trade here in Omaha and here in Nebraska to be making twenty dollars an hour, you have to be in your field for ten plus years. You know, it's a, it's very rare, unless you like have a, a specific thing that you do, like uh, you you uh you're a mechanic or a electrician, a plumber. Car salesman can do it, but that's sales. If you work in sales, of course. But if you work in a, a a regular nine to five, you're probably not making twenty dollars an hour, fifteen dollars an hour, you know, a lot of twelve, a lot of thirteen, seventeen if you're, you know, really good at what you do. But you know that's pretty much the cap. They're not trying to pay you, and it's it's very difficult for, uh, let's just say in this scenario, like I said, a single man to live off these wages. So um, let me see. That's I'm I'm gonna leave the link in the description, but uh, I got a couple more articles, like I said, and that we're gonna get to. And I actually seen this on social media, um, yesterday. So I really wanted to to go into it, and this is actually a sample of income from McDonald's showing how their employees can live off of. Uh, the eight dollar an hour minimum wage. So, it says income from your first job. So as you can see, 
They're saying in order to do this, you still have to work two jobs. $1,105. And if you get a second job and you make $995, this is a month. You know, you can make $2,000 a month. Now, whether this is before taxes or after taxes, but, okay, I guess you're saying this is after taxes. You take home $2,000 a month. You can save 100 okay? Your mortgage or your rent can be $600, okay? Now, even here in Omaha, where cost of living isn't as high as the bigger cities like a Chicago, like a Dallas, uh, uh, Los Angeles, New York, East Coast, Atlanta, Miami, you know, places where $600 is, is unheard of. You know, 10 years ago, $600 could get you a nice two-bedroom apartment here in Omaha. And, you know, this is in slow Nebraska. But that's almost unheard of these days. Everyone that has a apartment for 600 and under here in Omaha is staying in it. They don't want to give up that that low cost of living. And I've been apartment uh, shopping within the past year. No, none of those apartments that I knew that were, you know, single bedrooms, you know, 600 and under, they're, they're gone. They're, they're, they're not available. Not that they're gone. People aren't moving out of them. And that was the word from the, the leasing manager. People aren't moving out. People are re-signing those leases because six hundred dollars is a steal. So it's very rare that you can find that even here in a small market like Omaha. Now it says car payment one fifty. Okay, if you go to, you know, get your little bucket CD Motors, you know, your insurance at another hundred if you don't got a record. You know, health insurance twenty dollars. I don't know where they do that at. Because health insurance through your company is at least a hundred, hundred and fifty. The the best I've seen uh, that I've had at a job, you know, was probably like uh, is about eighty to a hundred dollars. Is eighty to a hundred dollars a month. So we're gonna subtract that from that eight hundred because that's cap. So it said, yeah, because it's gonna say we have eight hundred dollars left. We're gonna we're gonna take sixty from that because, like I said, ain't no way you getting health care for that price, and probably even more. I'm being generous. Twenty or zero dollars on heating. That's you know if you don't have any, uh, if if you know all your bills are paid because, you know, a lot of apartments you have to pay gas and lights. You know what I'm saying? You might not have to pay both, but you might have to pay one or both or both of them. So this this whoever this is, this guy got a really good deal on his living situation. Cable and phone a hundred. We'll let that slide. Electric ninety, okay. Other one hundred. I don't agree with that because you still got food, you still got gas. Don't have a bad day working your, your your dead end job at McDonald's and want to drink. So it's saying basically that you got eight hundred dollars left. So let's go through it. Like I said, we dropped that down to seven forty. And it gave us a hundred dollars for food for the month. We're gonna need at least two two hundred to two fifty. Let's say two fifty in food. So that hundred is already spent. So let's take another one fifty from that. Now we're at five ninety. Now let's go with gas. The price of gas is going up. So let's say you put, you know, fifty dollars a week in your tank. That's another two hundred dollars right there, just in gas. Now we at three ninety. Okay, that you have in your pocket. But guess what? You pay tight. You pay two thousand a month. That's two hundred dollars right there. 190 and don't have a kid 
don't have don't have child support coming out. Cause if if you got child support coming out, you already in a negative. So this just take their logic. Say you have one ninety left over. This is not including uh uh Netflix or if you want to buy a fight. Alright, so like you. So let's say you got that 190 left in, in your month. Let's go ahead and divide that by 30. You got six dollars and thirty-three cents that you can spend per day to last you the month. Nobody surviving off that. Nobody surviving off that. You know, we're gonna get this scripture. This is a Haggai one and six that says you have so much and bring in little or you you work in two jobs and you had six dollars a day that you work with six dollars a day that I have an option of if I want to buy something on average six dollars a day it says you eat but you have not enough you drink but you're not filled with drink you clothe uh, ye clothe you, but there's none warm. On six, on that, you got $190. What if you need some new shoes, some clothes? Heaven forbid you need toilet trees or anything like that. Come on. It says, but there's none warm. Keep the earn of wages, earn of wages to put it into a bag with holes. It's like you got a hole in your pocket and you're losing money because you can't you can't survive in this society off that kind of wage. And I know plenty of people who are you know working at gas stations, working working these these low income dead end jobs because that's all they can do. They don't have a skill set. And maybe you can say, yeah, you should get a better skill set. You can earn you can earn a better wage, but I mean, and it's it's it's, it's a difficult it's a it's a catch twenty two because yeah you could but how are you gonna get the better skill set with what money how you would you gonna go to you gonna go to school how are you gonna learn the the skill but uh. I want to get back into these articles. I got another article that I wanted to get, just you know, further, further proving that you know this this uh, economy that we live in is 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 really is crumbling. So they're talking about raising it up to fifteen dollars an hour, and they they're fighting for fifteen, right? This article says many Americans, especially families, can't live on a $15 minimum wage. Proving that what I just said was true. This is this is this was me pulling the people who are aren't making 15 up to 15, and the people who are at 15 are saying we can't live off 15. It's difficult to live off of one income. That's why you have a lot of people working two jobs or or you have a lot of people who you need that 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 woman and that man in that house both contributing it says democrats want a 15 hour minimum wage po uh, policy to be included in president joe biden 1.9 trillion dollar COVID relief plan it says a 15 hour pay scale will more than double the current 725 725 federal minimum wage scale but so even if you brought everyone else up to 15 what about the people who are making 16 right now for a quote harder job uh, I just go work at Burger King for, for that much you know if I'm making 17 why not you would have to bring everyone else up with it but the, these employers aren't going to want to do that. They're going to lose so, too much money.
says while millions will get a pay boost from a higher national uh, wage floor, it was still far short of paying many workers a living wage. The salary of a person or family needs to cover their basic expenses. That's especially true for families, largely due to higher living costs like child care relative to single adults. And in that scenario, that was a, a, just a single man. The average black man in America is, you know, uh, a single black man with, with no kids. So, you can't live off of that. Even with the raise of $15 an hour, a typical family of four couldn't afford the basics in any U.S. state. According to the CNBC analysis, cost of living data, assembled by researchers at the Massachusetts in Institute for Technology, MIT. So, like I said, I'm going to leave this in the description. Um, you can check it out, read a little bit more. It says the data waste costs like food, child care, health care, housing, transportation, and other necessities. It does not include income from safety net programs for the poor. So that's like uh, food stamps, ADC, you know, things of that nature. And if you're not on these programs and making this type of money, you're not going to make it. Which is why you have a lot of crime in our neighborhoods because people got to get in how they live. I'm not saying that it's the right way to go. We're going to get this uh, this last article, which is, you know, this is, this is the, the trip. If this is a baseball, it'd be a triple play or, you know, so this is um, from uh, July 15, 2021 from CNBC. It says inflation could prompt largest Social Security cost of living adjustment in decades. Why there's a push to change the way it's calculated. Seniors could see a much bigger bump in their Social Security benefits next year. There could be as much as a 6% cost of living adjustment next year based on estimates from the, la from the latest consumer price index data. Now, why would it go up 6%? The Social Security cost of living adjustment for 2022 could be 6.1% due to inflation. That would be the biggest increase since 1983 according to nonpartisan advocacy group, the Senior Citizen League, which calculated the figure. It's also a bump up from the last month's estimate uh, when the increase for next year was expected to be 5.3%. So just in one month, it went up 0.8%, almost a 4%. Because it's tougher to live out here. Everything is going up. Like I said, gas is going up. Food costs. Food costs is going through the roof. You had steaks that were like eight, ten, eight, ten dollars, fifteen, twenty dollars now. Chicken, you can't even get chicken wings anymore. Wingstop is now thigh stop. Who, who'd have thought it? The, the produce, produce sections are are becoming scarce and getting thin. Everything is, is all the, the commodities that we're used to, they're going up. Price of doing business is going up and the dollar is going down. So in order for the government to float these seniors with these baby boomers, they're going to have to give them more money. Which means what? There's going to be less money in the tank for for the people who are paying the Social Security now. Which stores will America destroy? We ain't got to worry about that. But the cost of the cost of living is going up. That's why, man. Let me let me get this preset real quick. This is Michael two and two two and ten. It says, "I rise in the park, for this is not your rest." Because it is polluted, 
it shall destroy you even with a sword destruction. Man, you gotta get this this America and the beautiful out of your mind. We need salvation. We need to be saved out of this place. Not only because of, you know, the the financial crisis that's going on. We're, we're in a, a, a pandemic. People are out of work. That's another part. People are out of work. But but for the wickedness as well. But to stay on subject, this 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 wage gap between the have and the have nots have never been further. And if we were to continue into this, it would just get wider and wider and wider. They said that billionaires, you know, some of them doubled their fortune in this pandemic. How was that? When you had your everyday Joe losing money, you had your 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 business owner, your small business owners had to shut down their business. You can't be conformed to this world. You have to unplug from the matrix. Get your trust out of Babylon. Because even if you go to school, then what? You going to get out? Think you're going to get a good job? No. You got hundreds of thousands of fucking uh, uh, debt to pay back. School loans to pay back. If you weren't born with that silver spoon in your mouth, it's an uphill battle. Not to say that you can't you know, if the Lord allow you, that you can't pull yourself up. But man, for the everyday Joe, life ain't all that here in America. With that being said, we give all praise on the glory to Yahweh by Shem Yashai, by Shem Kadash, the partners to the apostles and the elders of the GMS, salutes and honors to the elect, all the brothers across the four corners who are during the truth, and sincerity to women and children and the confusion of faith who follow. Shalom.